Okay. So the the idea of the exercise is for you to get a better understanding of how things that are involved in this system life, uh, system engineering life cycle model. And as we've been discussing, three uh, stages, right? The cost of development, engineering development, and, and pulse development. And the, <coughs> the idea is that how, how can you link that into the development stages of a new commercial aircraft? <clears throat> so I know we are not experts in the in the area of designing airplanes, but just based on the understanding of the of the life cycle, we can come up with some ideas of what are the activities that must be performed within each one of these stages. Um, so I ask you a minimum of five actions that will occur during each stage of the system life cycle um, model. And I have some of them here. So uh, the constant development stage will include the recognition of the market for a new aircraft, um, the exploration of possible configurations, such as number, size, and location of the engines, um, body dimensions, wind platform, and so on, leading to the selection of the optimum configuration from the standpoint of production costs, overall efficiency, passenger comfort, and other operational objectives. Um, so again, these are not the only one. The idea is that you come up with uh, uh, some of the things that must be considered at this stage for the design of a new airplane. So how many engines is it going to be a, an airplane for these many passengers? Um, how, how much space do we have to allocate for uh, storing luggage. Um, is this going to be an airplane that is going to be used for international flights or just domestic flights? Um, and, and so on. Questions? So the decision will be based largely on analysis, simulations, and functional design, which collectively co will constitute justification for uh, chosen for the chosen approach. Now, at the engineering development stage, the aircraft life cycle begins with the acceptance of the proposed system concept. So we are moving forward with this concept that's coming from the concept development stage. So now the problem is, um, how do you engineer these concepts? How do you make this concept a physical uh, device, or how do you make this concept a software, or how do you make this a protocol, right? Um, so, begin with the acceptance of the proposed system concept and a decision by the aircraft company to proceed with this engineering. The engineering effort will be directed to validating the use of any unproven technology, implementing the system functional design into hardware, and software components, and demonstrating that the engineering system meets the user needs. This will involve building prototype components, integrating them into an operating system, and evaluating it in the realistic operational environment. This comes back to what we just discussed at the beginning of the lecture. How do you make sure that you are accounting for the environment? Uh, and also making sure that the components that you are designing especially if they're on group technology, they're going to be performing well under different circumstances and conditions. Engineering development stage. And finally, we have the post development stage, which includes the acquisition of production tooling and test equipment, production of the new aircraft, customizing it to fit requirements of different customers, supporting regular operations, fixing any fault discovering during the use, and periodically overhauling or replacing engines, landing gear, and other highly stressed components. So the, the overall idea here is, how do you make this airplane, the production, right? Making sure that you have the environment able to produce such a uh, large system. Uh, the second part is, are you, uh, are you designing for the, um, all of the systems that are going to be integrated with this airplane. Um, 
So customizing also to fit the requirements of different customers. So if you're working with uh, American Airlines, if you're working with United, if you're working with JetBlue, Southwest, are they going to have different requirements? Um, I know the cabin for each one of these airlines is different. Some of them allocate more space for the customer. Some of them limit the space. Some of them have TVs. Some of them, they don't have TVs. So are you capable of customizing uh, the airplane? Fixing any faults discovered during the use. So now that you have the system out there, um, is it performing as expected? If not, how are you going to uh, change the system? Like, for instance, the minivan. Uh, you put the new minivan out there, and now you're having problems because the seats are not uh, are not attaching correctly. So how do you fix that problem so you don't have accidents in the, in the, in the street? So uh, you're going to be putting a campaign out there to make sure that you fix that problem for each one of the minimum. Um, use periodically, uh, replacing engines, landing gear, and all the highly stretched. So at some point, especially for this systems that are um, put into a lot of, uh, or are within forces like landing gear and so on, you know that at some point you're going to need to replace some of their components. So uh, do you have that environment in place? Do you have enough replacements uh, in store or in a warehouse so when they, they need to be replaced, they're available? Are you producing enough to make sure that those systems are keep up running uh, when needed? So that's that was the idea of the exercise. Uh, hopefully uh, you you were able to address some of the areas properly. Any questions? Okay, so today I'm going to stop here, and um, on Monday we are going to continue our discussion on this topic, and hopefully by Monday I will provide you feedback on the project proposal, so you can go revise it and. Um, addressing those areas that need improvement so you can resubmit it uh, for the final evaluation of the proposal. So if you are not here at the beginning of the lecture, now I'm going to be reading the proposal and I'm going to be making some comments on how to improve it and then you're going to use that feedback to improve your proposal and then resubmit it for uh, your final evaluation. Any questions? Okay, so I'll see you on Monday.